Nana Scott, welcome back to the Lighthouse Tribe, guys. So, I wanted to have the the angels and ancestors and passed on loved ones, whoever wanted to come in, I wanted them to tell me about somebody in particular. And I shuffled my native spirit deck and asked them to give me somebody, okay? Just to just in case for whoever might need need to know something, right? So on the top of the card I got Eagle Medicine, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, I got Storyteller. So, the first thing this tells me is, because sometimes the bottom of the deck speaks to me more than the top of the deck does. So, it feels like, um, actually, I should put it this way. It feels like somebody with special healing abilities, okay, that can keep their, that they, that, this feels like someone that keeps a, a higher up perspective from what goes on around them. They're more analytical. They use their, um, um, their thought process more than, um, it feels like Scorpio energy I'm hearing, um, but they use what they know to heal through the stories and the things that they talk about and the people that they encounter, okay? Um, take that, how that resonates. Um, it may not, it may not be for you. If it isn't, just leave it for whoever it's meant for, um, you know, but um, I, I, I pulled them and so now I'm going to ask the rooms, tell me what's going on around this person in rooms. Uh, and I'm also going to pull some cards, guys. This is just, a, um, this is actually just like a general collective or what somebody needs to know. Um, or what they might want to tell you if you're somebody that's a healer of some specific type that, that tells people about the things um, that you know and people get healing out of it or things you've seen or done. So I want to ask the rooms, what, what is around this person? So, up on the first pull, guys, believe it or not, I didn't get anything. So, let's see what we're going to get on the second one. What is around this person? Something specific, I have that feeling. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. So, right off the bat, we've got Portal, which is, um, or either completion of new of beginnings. So, this is somebody that maybe just be starting their journey or they're, they've gone through some kind of a portal. Okay, then the next room we have is Flow. Okay, so you, this is somebody already on their journey, okay, and whoever they are, they know who they are, okay, they're very sure of them and their abilities, so whoever this resonates for, you know this is you, okay, I'm going to tell you that now, you know this is you, so maybe this is someone in the medical field or in some kind of healing ability, uh, and it doesn't have to be for people, it could be for animals, children, take it however it, it, it resonates if it's for you, okay. What else can you tell me about this person? What else is around them? Okay. So we've got Anzu. This is somebody highly intuitive that listens to the signs and synchronicities going on around them. And then we've got Thurias. Somebody who's been through it. Been there, done that. Okay. So right off there telling me, this is somebody that knows who they are simply for the reason because been there, done that. Okay, and then we've got Nautas. Now, usually Nautas is relief from distress. But what I'm picking up is this is somebody that doesn't take no BS. Okay, so this is somebody who's very sure of themselves, sure of their abilities, uh, but it does have a tender heart, but they're more analytical thinking, like I said. Okay, let me see. What else do we have? What else about this storyteller that has evil medicine abilities that keeps a higher perspective, is more analytical? Oops. Okay, definitely healing the energy because now we got the years room. They're also very strong. This is somebody, again, who's very sure of who they are. Um, I'm hearing some, someone in full of patience. May not jive with everybody, I'm hearing, because they are extremely um, very forthcoming. They're very strong with how they tell things, how they talk about what's going on. Um, this could be maybe even somebody that's a doctor. I'm picking up on um, somebody that's got that kind of a, you know, they have a lot of knowledge, okay? And when they're very forthcoming and they know when they talk about whatever they talk about, they know what they're talking about. Maybe somebody that has um, is going to, has also gone back to school and is going to do some kind of teaching as well. And will use stories or um, telling about events or things that have happened to them. They will use to describe how things came about. I'm hearing. I've also got partnership, gifts, talking with the divine. 
So this is somebody that listen definitely listens to their angels, ancestors, whoever speaks to them, their higher higher self. They pay attention. And they have a good relationship rapport with it. They also have a good rapport and relationship with other people. I've got defense. So, and then I've got a closing. So this feels like somebody that, again, they don't they don't put up with no BS. They um they don't give nobody an opening to um it's not that they don't don't allow people to tell them that they're wrong, but their instincts are very good and they know when they're talking about something, they know that they're right instinctively. Okay, so this again feels like some type of healer that has these healing abilities or uh, maybe you're even someone that you, you're a healer that tells stories of some sort. Maybe you write books. Maybe you give lectures. Maybe you're a speaker. Okay, but whoever this is, this is a very strong person. Okay, all right. Let me see what other, I'm um, using the um, Time Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. I'm going to see what kind of, um, what, are, what other attributes does this person have? Using the cards, please. What other attributes that might help them know that this is them? So we've got Transcending. So this, again, is somebody that's using higher knowledge, I feel like. Okay, and is um, going into the future, they're going to use their wisdom and their knowledge to help other people or help situations, situational stuff. This is all somebody that, that is, has their, internally they have a lot of, a lot of self-confidence, a lot of power, strength, but they use it wisely, I'm hearing. Okay, then we've got courage. This is a person that may go places, do things that other people may fear to tread. So this may be somebody that also uses their voice to speak up and tell people, you know, I know it doesn't sound right, but I'm telling you this is what it is. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And then healing. This is definitely a healer. This is somebody with very high healer um, energies. Maybe this is a person that looks at, this is uh, the dream temples of Acephalus of Greece. So again, this is somebody um, with doctor abilities, healer abilities, um, that through the way they talk about things and what's happened to them or what's happened to other people. And some people are going to feel like they're magical when they're around. Okay. Somebody that feels very magical, very strong healer, courage, power. How do they use this energy? Let me use the Work Your Light Oracle deck by Rebecca and see how this person might use their energy or give them some. No, I'm hearing. Give them something to ponder question mark, but that's not how you ask the question. Um, is there something they need to ponder? Is there is what they're saying? Okay. What do they need to ponder? Or think about or look at another avenue another aspect maybe let's see let's see what we get guys on the bottom I have Pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so I feel like this is somebody that's gonna do again do do talking lectures maybe travel um, oh okay and then the second bottom card Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Okay, so this is somebody that's got some kind of a question in front of them. And the uh, angels and ancestors are saying, you're already doing it. Okay, so maybe you might need to have stronger, a little bit stronger boundaries as far as not letting people push you. But again, this is somebody full of... Um, okay, and that's, I guess where that, so the, the transcending comes in as well. This is somebody that's strengthening their boundaries for going into the future. Starseed, what lights you up? So you might, this person might have some starseed energy that is suggesting that they take another avenue to help maybe more classes, more, more something else that you are interested in that's a minor for you. They're saying to do some more studying, some more education, some more learning to help you be more rounded and to be able to use your gifts even more, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, and also take time to mother yourself. Okay, so this is maybe somebody that puts other people's needs first. They're telling you to mother yourself. Okay. Let me see about the healing. Is there anything they need to heal? Or what can you tell us from the, the healing waters deck?
cut once, okay. Sometimes they tell me two or three or once. On the bottom, we have cleansing. Releasing the old energetic tune-up, new beginnings. In between realms. Okay, so in between realms. So this is definitely somebody that they are saying to um, add more stuff to. Release the old and continue on with some new beginnings. Energetic tune-up. Take time out for yourself. And what on the top? The well made kindness, respect, reverence, compassion. So again, this is somebody they're saying also let some of your feelings show because some people might find you too harsh and to lighten up a little bit, but keep your boundaries very, very strong. Okay, so I don't know who this reading is for, but um, they just suddenly told me do this. So guys, this is what we've caught. Um, I might do some more of these. I they're, Yes, they're telling me yes. So I really like this, whoever this is for. You are definitely gonna be a leader in the future. You're very courageous and very powerful. You're going to be more powerful in the future, they're saying. Just remember to keep your boundaries and to also look at other things that, that are along with what you know to do and learn a few new things as well. And cleanse out the old. Cut away whatever is not serving you. All right, guys. This was just an impromptu read with Eagle Medicine and Storyteller. This is a very powerful reading for someone. This is a leader of the future. All right, guys. Storyteller. Your future awaits. Lighthouse. <laughs>